Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Tom. And last week, we were in chapter 11, correct? Did I remember? Remember? Me remember? Okay. Just a little re, rework here. In uh, 1127. And in these days, prophets came from Jerusalem to Antioch. Then one of them named Agabus stood up and showed by the spirit that there was going to be a great famine throughout all the world which also happened in the days of Claudius Caesar. Then the disciples, each according to his ability, determined to send relief to the brethren dwelling in Judea. Then the disciples, each according to his ability, determined to send relief to the brethren dwelling in Judea. Judea. This they also did and sent it to the elders by the hands of Barnabas and Saul. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched out his hand to harass some from the church. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to seize Peter also. Now it was during the days of unleavened bread, so when he had arrested him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four squads of soldiers to keep him, intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter was therefore kept in prison, but constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church. And when Herod was about to bring him out, that night Peter was sleeping, bound with two chains between two soldiers, and the guards before the door were keeping the the prison. Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the prison. And he struck Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly, and his chains fell off his hands. Then the angel said to him, gird yourself, tie on your sandals. And so he did. And he said to him, put on your garment and follow me. So he went out and followed him and did not know that what was done by the angel was real, but he thought he was seeing a vision. When they were past the first and second guard posts, they came to the iron gate that leads to the city, which opened to them of its own accord. And they went out and went down this one street, and immediately the angel departed from him. And when Peter had come to himself, he said, Now I know for certain that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me from the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the Jewish people. So when he had considered this, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a girl named Rhoda came to answer. When she recognized Peter's voice, because of her gladness, she did not open the gate, but ran in and announced that Peter stood before the gate. But they said to her, you are beside yourself. Yet she kept insisting that it was so. So they said, it is his angel. Now, Peter continued knocking. And when they opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But motioning them to them with his hand to keep silent, he declared to them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he said, go tell these things to James and to the brethren. And he departed and went to another place. Then as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers about what had become of Peter. But when Herod had searched for him and not found him, 
he exam examined the guards and commanded that they should be put to death. And he went down from Judea to Caesarea and stayed there. Now Herod had been very angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon. But they came to him with, with one accord, and having made Blastus the king's personal aid, their friend, they asked for peace because their country was supplied with food by the king's country. So on a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat on his throne and gave an oration to them. And the people kept shouting, the voice of God and not of man. Then immediately an angel of the Lord struck him because he did not give glory to God. And he was eaten by worms and died. But the word of God grew and multiplied, and Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had fulfilled their ministry. And they also took with them John, whose surname was Mark. Amen? Praise God. You know, as we read in uh, this chapter, great things were happening in the church. And you know, we can say that today. In all honesty, great things are happening in this church. Amen? God is reaching out all around us, making it possible for tremendous things to happen. Think about Pastor D.A. Think about the new pastors. Think about what our pastor, Pastor David, has allowed us to per per pursue. And, and God is amazing. It's amazing when we walk in the door and we can express his love so freely to one another and encourage one another. Uh, great things were happening in this church. Saul of Tarsus, um, Cornelius, Antioch, and we read coming up here where Herod saw that the Jews were pleased. So he seized who? Peter. Peter. Mm -hmm. And Peter, he threw in prison, right? Now, Peter was kept in prison, but, you know, the Bible says that constant prayer to God for Peter was taking place. You get that? Constant prayer. What is constant prayer? Is that? Prayer with, pray without ceasing. Is that what you said? Yeah. Constant prayer to God for Peter. Think about that as we progress. That this body was praying constantly for Peter. Interesting. Constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church. And when Herod was about to bring him out, that night, you hear it? That night, Peter was sleeping bound with two chains between two soldiers, and the guards before the door were keeping the prison. And behold, an angel, an angel of God, stood by him. Amen? And the angel said, gird yourself, Peter. Get ready. We're getting out of here. Praise God. Eusebius. Anybody know who he is? Eusebius? Church authority? Historian. 
okay? He tells of a soldier who was with James, and he was so affected by James and his, his testimony, his witness, that this soldier confessed Christ and willingly was executed for his love for Jesus and his concern for his new brother, James. So he was executed just like James because he stood for Jesus Christ. Amen? God is good.